try to get a bit of a view of him. But I think unfortunately we're not going to be able to get one from here. Thank you for going forward. I'm not too sure. The guys say that they... It's, I can see it from in the distance. There we go. Here, there it is. So it's a male leopard. And I can't really tell from the distance who it is. So if you guys manage to get any screenshots and perhaps compare spots, you'll be able to let us know. Because the guys are calling it as quarantine, which would be a bit of a strange spot for him to be in. Ooh, now he's gone behind. He just crossed the boundary. Mm, come on, boy. Just pop out somewhere where we can see you. Lou says it looked like Mvula. Census thinks it's Tingana. <laughs> So we're all just shouting names out in the wind. I wonder which one it is. The only thing that we seem to agree upon is that it's a male leopard. Um, and now I wonder where he's gone off to. Megan, she says it's Shangile. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Too big. Um, so, Megan, we won't trust you for leopard IDs anymore. Let's try to... Oh, he's static now. Be. No worries, Mike. I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a view from the from the cut line. All right. Apparently he's gone static somewhere in there. Well, I cannot see him. Hmm. Sneaky leopard. All right. Seems like Brent has managed to find the jackpot of animals, and I think unfortunately we won't be able to have a look at our friend from here because I have no idea where he's gone off to. And it's a bit of a complicated one, but at least we managed to have a bit of a glimpse up some spots for the day, which is quite amazing and I'm very happy about it. But I think maybe we'll stick to our plant and go all the way to Chitua. So we'll bid goodbye to this leopard over here and let's go over to Brent for some unfolding action.